Hi Judy. Not sure how many people it are on at the moment. It's uh, I, uh, the numbers aren't going up. Um, not sure what's going on here with Facebook. Could be that it's playing up. There we go. Oh, I can see the numbers now. So I've just let me just reboot my page. That's better. Don't know what it's playing at. Good old Facebook. Hi Angie, Alison, Sonia, Christine. See, it's a beautiful day in Milton Keynes. You can see we've got the, that's from my blind going across the page. Hi Donna. Hi Yvonne. So it's very exciting because we've got another new collection from Fairy Hugs. Um, the new collection is already on the Fairy Hugs website. So um, if you want to um, have a look at the stamps, you can see them. Um, and so I'll just share the look, link there for the Fairy Hugs store there. So you can see that just come up. Um, so obviously Fairy Hugs are based in the States. So, um, um, sorry, I'm just seen a message um yeah so uh fairy hugs are in the state so um if you're outside of the uk that's a good place for you to go there are stockists around the world um for fairy hugs there's definitely one in um australia um um and various parts of europe i believe um but um yeah so anyway you can see the full catalogue there on the fairy hugs website the stance will be available on my website julieartscrafts.co.uk um from midnight tomorrow night i know a lot of you do stay up late so you can get your orders in because obviously it takes me a little while to get them back again um, because they have to be shipped over from the states and it doesn't it only takes a couple of days but obviously i need to put a decent size order together um to make it worthwhile paying the shipping fees and uh, sometimes if it's a popular stamp then um it's out of stock at fairy hugs as well so i can't always get it um so we have to wait for the restocks to come in anywho that's the housekeeping so um I thought for a change, I've only got this here, so you've got something to look at rather than just a blank, um, a blank uh, craft sheet. Um, so I did share this one earlier on today. And so the theme is music and ballet. And um, we have got uh, within the collection, we do have other, uh, or within the catalogue, we do have other stamps that are going to work really well with this particular collection as well. Um, uh, we've got some gnomes, we've got the choir fairies from the Christmas collection last year. Uh, we've got the musical walkway, we've got Zelina and Aris, who are really kind of old fairies, if you like. In the scheme of things, they're only about 18 months old in the uh, catalogue. But uh, So we have those as well as the musical dandelion. Um, there's various other bits and pieces, so there's lots that are going to actually um, uh, fit in with it. Yeah, there's so many, uh, Art Angel saying there's so many of these will work with, they absolutely will. So, um, yeah, so uh, this is just some of the stamps. Um, so we've got here the fairy gramophone, which is absolutely beautiful. And uh, this little fairy is called Misty and she's not very tall. We don't have the measurements uh, on the website, um, which is um, unusual. Um, they might come later, I suppose. So there's water all over my desk. My son thought it would be a good idea just to trickle some water on me and it went everywhere. So anyhow, um, yeah, so she's not very tall. She is just, let's have a look, just over an inch and a half tall. No, an inch and three quarters. So she's not very tall, but she's really dinky. And we've got this background here, which is our music poem. And then this is the musical moon. And we've got this sentiment here. There is a bunch of sentiments. Shall I, um, let, let's just, for change, let's quickly pull in all the stamps so you can see them all. Um, don't normally do this, but it's Saturday afternoon, so why not? Um, so this is, um, actually, it might be a good idea to show you in the bundles that they are on the telly, actually. 
Uh, I should have done this before. That's in bundle one. That's in bundle one. That's three. That's in bundle one. That's five. five. See, I'm semi-organised. I, I, I'm waiting to go to the post office, so um, I'm going to run out after we've finished doing this. And I thought, oh, I've got loads of time. What can I do? I oh, know, I'll just sit here doing nothing. That's in bundle one. That's in bundle four. I think there's a sentiment in every single one. Those are three, and that's five. Five, five. Two. Nearly there. Sorry, 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 sorry. Not sorry, really. There we go. Three. Oh, that's the stone stage. That's from a previous release. This is the stone stage is good to put our um, fairy stage on. And you can put that separate. And then we've got this one, which is two. Right, okay, so in bundle one, we're going to have. Um, these 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 you need these these are so much fun these are your dancing bunnies absolutely love 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 the dancing bunnies they're fun and i think in your craft if you've got anything that makes you smile and make, makes you happy then they're definitely worth having and so the bunny's going to work with so many different things so this is the musical strings so you can have your bunnies dancing along the musical strings just perfect you know they could the, there's there's just so many things that you can work with the, the bunnies and you've got six bunnies in the set as i've already said you've got the musical strings here uh you've got the bu sentiment which says live in the moment love with passion dance wildly laugh out loud sing to the world enjoy every second dream big and be you and then we've got the musical moon which you saw on the sample that i showed you so that's bundle one i hope that's all of them here. Check. Yep, yeah, there's four in that one. I don't know what order they'll be on in the telly. Um, then we've got the fairy piano, which has got loads of flowers on it. I know it's a little bit distorted because I've obviously used it. And then you've also got the piano bench. And the idea is that Peony here will sit on the piano bench like so. You can see that. But also, we've also got in the catalogue, we also have. Where is it? We've got Azalea. So Azalea is one of the older fairies. She's number 41, and we're already up to 436 with Peony. But you can see that Azalea will sit on there. Azalea will sit on the piano as well. So there's loads of, of, of stamps that are going to work with this collection. So yeah, piano. Peony, who's a dinky little fairy. And uh, then we've got this beautiful fairy note. Look at that. It's like a butterfly wing or a fairy wing on a note. Absolutely stunning. These are super, super useful. Flowers always are, you piano flowers. And then we've got the music speaks um, sentiment, which is, says, uh, when words fail, music speaks. So that's bundle number two. Then we've got bundle number three. You've got this big stamp here, your fairy stage. And so in this bundle, we've also got Misty, which was in the previous sample. So you can see that Misty is going to sit in the stage beautifully. But you can also use your um, dancing bunnies in the stage as well. That's going to really um, go um, nicely. And you've also got uh, a set of uh, hummingbirds. You've got rights and lefts. You've got going upwards and you've got um different sizes as well so uh two four six seven stamps in that set i think that's going to be very popular and of course these can hold your uh, music strings uh, that you had in the previous um uh, bundle and i'll show you how that kind of works i don't want to show you all my samples probably at the studio i won't i might not put my samples out because obviously the design team are what we want you to see so you can see here on this sample we've got the hummingbird either side and it's holding the fairy strings that works then the beautiful fairy gramophone absolutely stunning of course you don't have to use the gramophone bit you can just use the trumpet of the flower and that's going to work well with the hummingbirds as well 
Art Angel's done some fantastic uh, samples with that. There is also, oh, I'm sorry, I can't remember if it's Anne or if it's Meg. There's a very colourful sample that's done uh, with the, the trumpet part um, from the design team. Lots of different colours used uh, on that. Uh, then we've got Ballerina Dwellers. We like our dwellers in Fairy Hugs. So these are, uh, unlike the others, they've got more of a, a ballet kind of pose to them. They're always useful. And then you've got uh, the dancing is dancing feet. Dancing is like dreaming with your feet. So that's bundle three. Then number four, we've got your cleft tree, which this is going to be great. And you might have seen uh, Bonnie's sample that she shared earlier in the week. Uh, you can have the strings coming from several of the uh, cleft trees and then the dancing bunnies going up and down. You could have Misty going up and down the hearts, the, the musical strings as well. Um, or the dancing bunnies. Uh, I don't know if I've already said that. No idea. Oh, the little ballerina dwellers as well. Yeah. Then you've got your dahlia flower. The flowers are always really uh, useful. You've got your music poem and you've got your uh, musical flutters. So these are your dragonflies and butterfly uh, with uh, musical notes within the wings themselves. Very ornate, absolutely gorgeous. Yeah, everybody knew it does need the gramophones. Yeah, absolutely. Is that all we've got in there? Is that four in that one? Yeah, four in that one. And then finally, uh, our last new bundle is this beautiful music tree. Absolutely stunning. You don't have to use all of it. You could just use a section of it um, or part of it. Absolutely stunning, stunning tree. And again, you could have the um, music strings coming um, between a couple of them. I'll show you. A couple of them with the music tree. Well, there's one just on its own. I shared that yesterday. And, uh, oh, that's too high for you. Put it down a bit. And uh, then there's this one here where I've used one either side and I've put the um, music string in between and our gnomes, uh, Corwin, Bill, Billmin and uh, Willwin. <laughs> Ah, uh, hilarious. Or you could just use the um, music tree, just the top of it, and have uh, your fairies standing on it. So that kind of works as well. So really useful, really beautiful stamp. Everybody needs that in their life as well. <laughs> Art Angel's just telling you that everybody needs everything. <laughs> And she's right. Then we've got a trio of um, fairies playing instruments. So you've got Mirabelle with the, um, is that a saxophone? I don't know what that is. It's not, a, is it a saxophone? I don't know, somebody musical tell me what it is. Um, then you've got um, this one here, uh, which is Julietta, and it's like um, a lute that she's playing. And then you've got uh, Claire, who's got um, a, a, a horn of some sort that she's playing. And then obviously, if they're playing music, then you need some notes. So we've got your musical notes. You've got a little um, um, uh, group of notes there. And then you've got individual notes and your treble clef as well um, to, to make your backgrounds. And then the sentiment here is your heart dance. Uh, it is with your feet that you move, but it's with your heart that you dance. <laughs> Our angel's going to have you bankrupt. <laughs> We've also got some new stencils on the show. There are four new stencils on the show. Uh, we've got this one, which is Fairy Buds. Everything I've shown you, I have in, I have here physically in stock but it won't go live on my website until um tomorrow night at midnight so that's sunday at midnight it goes live the shows on creating crafter at 5 p.m and 8 p.m tomorrow so this is our fairy buds then we've got our uh, magical dots this one is a definite need this is your fairy rainfall 
um i think this is a little bit like the orbs it's one that people are going to absolutely love um i think these three are my favorite i do really like this one as well this is your uh, magical mushroom so this is going to give you an instant background if you want but of course you can just use sections of it if you want to um do a tag and and um other things with it as well so um those are your four new stencils and all the stencils yeah yeah oh, oh, oh i was yeah clarinet yeah okay we'll, we'll call the clarinet a horn shall we <laughs> <laughs> so let's make something now i did actually do a little bit of prep beforehand but when nathan threw water all over me it got destroyed so um we'll start again <laughs> as you do so i'm just on a piece of this is sentiment to yours uh super smooth watercolor card and we are going to start really really um easy um and um simple anybody can do this and it's just an idea I've got in my head, and I think it'll work, um, but we'll see. Oh, this has got water on it as well. <sighs> what a pain. What an absolute pain. So I'm just going to line this up with the bottom of the card, just so it's straight. So this is just low tap tape. And I'm going to use wherever it started there yeah and just go up hopefully equally and try and get a band that's equal if it's not equal it, you've got to look close to figure out that it isn't so we'll go for salt water chappy first and i am using distress rather than um um distress oxide because I, I i like to if i'm stamping off of an area I actually like distress ink. I don't like stamping off distress oxide. That's just me. I've left the card folded. Probably wrong to do that, but I have done. So this is lovely kind of um, coral pink saltwater taffy. And I, I like the studio light um, um, brushes because I know what colours I'm roughly using. Now we're going to go on to Twisted Citron and I'm going to use my Fairy Buds stencil. And just pop it, it's just shy of going the full width but I'm not worried about that. And we're going to pop some of the Twisted Citron along the edge here over the top. really like this stencil one of my favorites and you will find because distress stays wet for quite a while you will sometimes find that um some of the salt water taffy will come off onto your brush but i'm not precious about that okay that's that so this is our base to work on so now when we remove that Yes, I totally agree with you, uh, and definitely, he's a right pain. <laughs> I'm just getting rid of my extra ink. And there's loads of different things that you can stamp on here now. I thought what we'd do is though bring in, there's, like I say, there's loads. So we could bring in uh, Mirabelle, so she could be here like that. And then we could bring in those. Um, I'll pick my sentiment. Oh, I need my need my notes. So we'll be having some notes coming out of her um, saxophone. And then we can just put a sentiment on, and that would be um, that would be it. I'm just going to see if I want another sentiment other than that one. Yeah, let's have the um, Music Speaks one because I think that fits with the, um, rather than the dance one. So let's go into our stamping platform so we can actually stamp it nicely. 
I have, I do find that um, when I'm stamping onto a watercolour card, um, I definitely will need to stamp because it's a silhouette a couple of times. Uh, however, when I stamp with uh, onto that lovely um, uh, paper that's in the Thunder Glow, Petal Shimmer or Bumble Twinkle packs, um, quite often I don't need to stamp more than once because um, it's a, it's a really good card uh, paper card or whatever it is I mean it's too thick to be paper to stamp on and those uh, paper packs are actually on the show uh, shows tomorrow uh, but I do have them in stock already they're already on my website because from last month so we're just going to have her like that I think like so let's just stamp her first so that she because she's going to have probably have a couple of stamps and I'm just going to do her in black so we talking about not to inversify and Claire tap 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 nice juicy ink pad give it a good old press give that ink a chance to settle in pretty good we'll just go again just so she's nice and dark only go again if you're confident that your card hasn't moved I'm keeping my fingers crossed there she is absolutely perfect now if if I'd have stamped on top of oxide you'd see a difference in the color of the black of the ink and, and I don't like that. So that's why I use Distress Ink. Um, I don't mind using my uh, oxide sprays and my oxide spray backgrounds because then it's an all over thing and it's already oxidized from with the water. So, so I don't mind that too much. It doesn't normally show a difference. It's when the ink hasn't been oxidized that uh, you t tend to see the difference. So that's Mirabelle. Then very simply, you could, I mean, these are really easy to batch make, these types of cards. So very simply, we're going to have the notes coming out of her, um, what do you call it, her um, saxophone. Words are failing me. I'm a bit tired because I was at the studios yesterday as well. And then got home, started packing orders, and I've been packing orders all morning, so... And I've got to go to the post office after we've finished. So, busy, busy, busy. Right, let's just check that this sentiment's nice and straight. Or as straight as I can get it. And we'll stamp these. You could do just individual notes rather than using the group um, of notes stamp. But this is, is almost like a, a clean and simple card, I suppose, because I'm not going to do anything else to this. Although we might just bring another set of the... Let's see how this would look. This is me faffing. I put the acetate down because I've got ink on my stamp. So I'm just wondering whether I might want some more notes coming up there. We go for it. Commit into your mind what it looks like with one set. Because you might prefer that. I might prefer that once I've done it, but well, that's the acetate for that. Right. Remember to take the acetate off. And then we'll just stamp that again. This is normally when I go completely over the top and end up putting notes all over the place. We just have, oh, we might, I might want another one now because it's two. <laughs> right, we do that then. <laughs> what am I like? Should we have a third one down here? Let's just see. This is probably when I've gone completely over the top and ruined it. 
Pá, 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 pá. Right, I'm stopping there. Step away from the card. So there we go. That's a, that's as simple as I'm going to do that. I might add a little bit of colour to the wings, but I'm, I don't think I will on this one. So it's very simple to do, and I've got dirty fingerprints all over it. <laughs> oh, I hate that. I hate that. It's where I'm picking my stamp up. So anyway, there's an, that's an idea, simple idea. So, so I think sometimes when you've got your stamps, you want something simple to do to start you off, to get you into the mood of what you can do with them. So that's very simple. Let's go for one of the papers from Petal Shimmer. So this is the six by six papers, that, one of them that we launched last month. And uh, these are um, designed by Shu Min, um, who uh, was on the design team. She still um, um, posts to the Fairy Stamper um, Facebook page. Um, but um, she's not actually on the Fairy Hugs design team. I did at the beginning of this, if you scroll back to the comments, I did share the Fairy Hugs store group um, Facebook page. And that's, that's where we put all our sneaky peeks. And it is a really good place to join. And uh, we would love you to share your makes into that group as well. Uh, Alison has, has been sharing some wonderful makes. And uh, thank you, Alison, for doing that. We, uh, we really love to see them. And you, you have got a chance of uh, um, uh, being picked to uh, become a guest design team member as well if you, uh, if you post your makes. So you can see I've trimmed that one down already. I'm going to use that one a bit probably. So let's choose one of these. Now what am I doing? Oh yes, I know what I'm doing. <laughs> I don't know, Julian, what are you doing? Let's choose this one. So they are all six by six and there are 24 designs, um, double-sided and there's two sheets of each. So basically there's 12 different sheets but because they're double-sided you've got 24 designs. So I want that one. Right, I'm not going to trim that down just yet. I'm going to go for my stencils again. And we're going to go for the uh, Fairy Rainfall. So obviously you can have your, um, your kind of... Uh, I don't know, thrusts of your spots or whatever they are coming uh, left to right or you can have them going right to left. I think I like them going that way, but I don't. it doesn't really matter. So we're just going to pop that on there and I think we'll go for some... I haven't got many distress inks out on my desk at the moment. We'll go for Villainous Potion. see the stencil just fits perfectly um, because the stencils are six by six as well roughly this does look great on a tag and I'll show you when we've when we've uh, when I've done finished this I'll show you the tag that I've done as well I'm very impatient but you can see underneath you can actually secure them if you want to. You can see that's coming out nicely underneath. Did you get them, Jean? Did you get them from me? I can't remember. You have so many orders, I can't remember what you do when you don't order. I do appreciate it though, Jean. I always feel like there's not much ink coming out with these brushes, but there is. The stencils are, are quite, you can see that this one's very intricate, so the brushes are, are actually easier to use, oh, move it, uh, easier to use than the um, spongy dauber things. Um, you just have to be a bit more patient than me. I'm always thinking, oh, you know, this is taking ages. But obviously it's one of those things that you can 
take your time doing. I know what I'll do. I'll move it first of all, and then I'll grab a piece of kitchen roll. It'll be easier for me to hold it. Line it up again. Okay. So she still not using the kitchen roll. I'm not too worried if I miss bits. Let's have a look. Yeah, that'll do. That'll do. Although I've missed totally on this side here. I can't can't live with that. <laughs> That's better. <laughs> so I've got a nice little border around as well. So I can either keep that border or I can trim the card down. I haven't decided yet what I'm going to do. Oops. Wouldn't be one of my lies without banging it, would it? Um, right. So now we're going to um, just clean that up. Sorry. And go into my stamping platform. It's like to completely transform that, that uh, paper, hasn't it? But if we didn't have that pattern paper underneath, then it wouldn't be so kind of uh, mottled and you wouldn't have all the different colours going on. They really, you, yeah, Artangel was saying they really are nice papers to work with. And they really are because um, you'll find that they just stamp so well. So let's have a bit of fun now. So where's my dancing bunnies? What did I do with my bunnies? Did I put them here? Yes, I did. Here they are. So for me, I mean, bunnies are obviously and obviously having a lot of fun, aren't they? So for me, the dancing bunnies are perfect to use with this. You could, you can easily use some of the other fairies as well. So, um, so you could easily have, um, say, Claire in here you know in in the spots as well so she would work uh, and the other two um, um mirabelle and uh, julietta would work so but i think the dancing bunnies are definitely having a lot of fun dancing and jumping in the puddles and they just you know splashing around you know let's see let's see let's have this what this one's going to come in here because he's definitely going to have a bit of a splash that one can come down here. They don't have to be slap bang in the middle. <laughs> this one could come here. I might trim this down a little bit. <laughs> That's so much fun. Or maybe not. We might end up using all of them because they are so much fun. So much fun. This one's got an instrument of some sort. Let's just stamp them all. Why not? I haven't even stamped this one yet. That one can come off there like that. <laughs> they just make me happy. I might regret stamping them all in one go, but hey ho. Live dangerously and all that. Yes, actually, yes, April. Uh, Alison's saying the April fairy will, will work really well. So April's the one um, who's uh, got a little umbrella. I'd forgotten about April. Yeah, she will definitely work with this stencil. This stencil's so cool. And um, Artangel has shared, I think it was yesterday, a... Uh, uh, sort of a round hat box uh, type box um, that she's only used the stencil and uh, obviously texture paste and paint and stuff but um, there's no stamps on it at all and it, it, it it's a, a tremendous stencil I think I think it's gonna I think it's gonna be the stencil I sell out of quickest to be honest um, I have got more of those of this one than any of the others but I think it's gonna go quickest I think everybody's gonna want this Yeah, we're going. Let them all release so that they don't move the paper. A couple of them are a little bit splotchy because they are um, silhouettes. 
You can even see the whiskers on them. That's so, they're such fun. That one's all right, that one's all right. No, that one's all right. These ones I got already done. I might as well do all of them. I'll have them in different colors and that one, that'll drive me nuts. <laughs> have you got April Archangel? getting quite a collection now that's better so they're all nice and dark now and you can see them all playing in the puddles <laughs> they just make me really happy they're such good fun and this is me trying to not mess up my fingers too much when I put them all away I love that they're all in different poses. They're just all so cool. They're having a lot of fun. <laughs> this this one here, that was a, I don't care that it's raining, I'm going to have my fun. <laughs> that one, which one, which one? That one could be looking at a spider, it could be looking at him, it could be looking at um, fairies up above, it could be, it could be looking at all sorts of things. <laughs> right, that's, that's my dancing bunnies. So what else am I going to do with this here? I don't know what else am I going to do. We definitely want a sentiment on here. So, um... I think this one's quite appropriate for them if I can actually fit it in. I didn't really think about fitting a sentiment in, but I think, yeah, we can get that in down here somewhere. So this is the heart dance one. So this is the one that says, uh, it is with your feet that you move, but it's with your heart that you dance. So we can definitely have that coming down the bottom here rather than in the top. Or we can have it at the top. No, we have something else at the top. Dither, dither, dither. You can tell I plan this. I think some sometimes though you you just have to go where the stamps um, send you really, um, and I think that's what happens once you've used them a few times. Um, I don't know if Art Angel agrees with me on this. Um, she um, have you? Oh great! Uh, sorry, I'm just reading what Art Angel's saying. Um, I think you definitely build up a relationship with your stamps and and you just and, and they just tell you what you need to use with them. And that's the beauty of having all of them. So so lucky to have them all really. So that's our sentiment in the like so. I might just leave this the size it is and uh, mass it and lay it so it'd end up being like a seven by seven card. So just take an 8x8 eight eight and cross it down. Let's have up the top. Let's have some heart strings. Because we can. We might go off the page a bit. So a slightly different. So if we have let's not have them right at the top. Let's have them coming like a bit of a canopy in the middle. Like so. So do that one first. I need a magnet up there. I can't live without a magnet up there. Let's, let's actually use a different colour. There's something. Radical. Let's go for um, a purple. This is Monarch. Probably won't notice much difference because it's quite a deep purple. And then we're going to have it hanging the other way as well. So we need our acetate because obviously we've got ink on our stamp. 
and then we can tape it so I need to just stand up so I can see. I'll pop it on the acetate first and then I can move it so that it meets hopefully because I haven't got a purple pen. Pick it up and we'll take the acetate off and then stamp again. And when you get your stamps, um, if you want to watch this back again, I will pop it onto my YouTube channel later on today. So you can always refer back to it and there will be, I will do other videos as well. So now you've got the two of them meeting in the middle. Don't know why I've done it like that, but I just have. Um, and then we're going to add to it, because obviously this guy's looking up and he could be looking at him and he could be looking at whatever's going on up there. So we'll give him something else to look at. That's right, then that, that's Art Angel's saying that they, they're dead for, they're, um, for any celebrations, really, uh, not just uh, for anybody that likes music and ballet. And that's absolutely right as well. So you could have, I mean, she, she probably won't fit up here. She won't, but you could have a peony sitting on there. So if, she, if it's further down, she could be sat on there. And obviously, like I showed you, Azalea is going to work as well. But we're going to bring in some of our ballerina dwellers. So the ballerina dwellers are going to be dancing all over the heartstrings. Because they can be. If they're tall, if they're not too tall. That one might be too tall. I didn't think it through, did I? Let's put her on there. These are going to be stamped in black. We have one over there like that uh, right, let's put her because she's taller over there she can go up there let's see if we can get another one in no they're not going to fit does she fit on there just so look don't want to lose her head Just about. I think she just about fits. I think she's taller than that one. Oh no, that one's shorter. Ha 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 ha. <laughs> I can't see. And she won't let me go. Let's have her in. Yeah, I think she just about fits. We'll soon find out, won't we? Have a lost one. Yes, there we have. That's that one. So you get six little, little tiny stamps. Obviously, think about what you might have, a, you want, might, might want at the top, and leave the appropriate gap. But I was just so intent on getting my dancing bunnies in hopefully they'll go first time because we're on that lovely paper yeah I don't need any more okay so that's that one so obviously once you put that onto some black card, do your mats and layers onto your black card, that pops and then you've got a little scene going on.
Oh, you had one of them got upside down. Him? He could be doing a handstand. It doesn't really matter, does it? It's whatever you see. The one with the arms up. Yeah, that one. Yeah, it doesn't matter. <laughs> it's whatever you see in it, isn't it? And I mean, that's just me messing about, really, isn't it? But... And there's no colouring involved in that. You've got that. You've got a little border going around the edge. Or we could still crop it down a little bit if we wanted to, um, and pop it on a card. So easy peasy. If you wanted to do it on a tag, so you don't want such a big area, here's one that I've done uh, just with three of the dancing mushroom uh, mushrooms. Oh, for sake, my brain. Um, so we've got um, three of the dancing bunnies and we've got uh, Peony who's sat on one of the heart strings. So I only, uh, heart strings, I keep on calling them heart strings, uh, music strings, uh, musical strings. And it's just going across the tag. So this isn't one of the, this is, I think, the third largest of the tags from Studio Light die set. Um, but you can see that works really well, doesn't it? Just on a tag. I like doing my tags. Yeah, that, the background is definitely, uh, that stencil is definitely a must-have. It's, it's my my top tip. Um, I've got a few favourite stamps, like the gramophone and the, the, the dancing bunnies. Um, in fact, I love all the stamps, but you know you, ha you have favourites. Um, they're my today favourites anyway. They might be different tomorrow. <laughs> Do try and put all your stamps back on the carrier sheets. And I store mine by just cutting the top of the, the hangy bit that you normally um, see in stores. Cut that off and I write down the number and what it is. And then they're all filed in the three different size boxes I've got. And I can just uh, file through them in order and uh, find them quite easily. So let's do uh, another one. What should we do now? Let's think. Let's do. We haven't done a tag, have we? Let's do a tag. What size to use? We could do a really dinky little one as well. That's a really dinky one. Might be too dinky. Let's grab that one as well. They seem to be blue. They're all blue that I'm grabbing. What is it I'm doing? Um, that's good. I want to do that there. I might change my mind in a minute. We ought to use that gramophone, aren't we? That's what we ought to use because it's so beautiful. It's difficult when there's so many that are really lovely. Um, gosh, we need an hour already, would you believe? <coughs> Mind you, I did spend a quarter of an hour showing you all the bits and pieces. Before we go to the gramophone, let's just show you a really simple one that you can do. Just because I can go off at a tangent. Let's do this size tag. And let's grab a... Let's grab an ink pad. So we've used the magical dots. And this is just one of my Distress Oxide backgrounds and there is a video um, on my YouTube channel on how to do that. Uh, let's go for a little bit of Mermaid Lagoon. have some let's see some dots going through the center there just 
Just like that. That's all we need. Clean up takes longer than it does to do it. Now, we've got that beautiful, where is it, this little note. Just there, like so. Pick it up. And let's keep with the blue theme, actually. And um, instead of going black, we're going for um, medieval blue, which is a really dark blue. So pretty, really, really pretty. Obviously, these this note could be coming from the uh, instruments that uh, the girlies are playing: uh, Mirabelle, Claire, and Julietta. Um, it doesn't have to be the little tiny notes that come out of their instruments. And then we'll take. Where is she? Misty. Come on girl, where are you? You're only little. Is she here? Really? There's only so many places you can hide. Hold on a sec. There she is. I've even taken out the whole the older stamps that are on the show. So I'm only looking through the new ones. And she's got those beautiful ballet slippers on. And she's gonna just sit there like that. I think tags are wonderful for um you know for, for bookmarks and um I mean you could turn a tag into a, a card anyway, um if you wanted to, just cut when you're cutting it, just cut out, um, this side out, outside of the uh, cutting edge of your or your, your, your cutting plates. So it is easy to make a tag shaped card. Make sure I'm in the same colour again. So sticking with that blue, I'm not going to go on to black. I'm just doing tone on tone. Like so. She's just so elegant, so beautiful and it just kind of coordinates with the beauty of that uh, fairy note and misty and of course these two stamps are smaller stamps so they're the ones that are the lower price points um, I mean, obviously, they're, they're not as cheap as some stamps, but, you know, they're from America, so, and they are very uh, unique um, and usable, so, um, you know, I think they're worth every penny. A stamp is valuable if you're going to use them loads, and you'll use these loads. I think we want that little tiny Music Speaks um, sentiment again. Let me find it. Where have you gone? That can go up here, hopefully, it will fit. Yeah. Music speaks. 
Geeks. And these are sort of, they're quite a nice little thing to just sell, send to somebody if you're thinking about them. Music is a great um, thing for people to listen to, isn't it? If they're not feeling too good. Finish it off just by, I mean, we could bring in foliage and all sorts of things, but keeping with the stamps that we've got on the show, we change. That's a lovely idea, Josephine. Josephine's saying she's made a load of bookmarks using uh, the tags for the Platinum and Jubilee to hand out to neighbours in red, white and blue. That's really nice. Hi, Rachel. Um, so, again... I keep on putting these stamps back and then I want to use them. I can't blink and find them. What am I doing? There we go. Yeah, using the individual notes that are in this um, set, you can just add here and there just the odd few notes. Try and get them going in the same direction. Where's my oh, magnet? <laughs> Come here. Okay, that'll do. And then we'll probably add some just up there as well. I think we'll just swap blues actually. Let's go for Bluebell, which is slightly lighter. Again, a Versafine clear. You don't need to press very hard with these because these are only dinky little stamps. Oh, a little bit harder than that though. That's better. And let's have a couple up there. So remember, we've got ink on these now, so we want to make sure that we don't get ink where we don't want it. I don't know what this one is. What's that one called? I don't know what that note's called at all. It's a new one on me. Not that I know a lot about music anyway, but I've not come across that. Do I want any more? No, I think I'm just going to add three groups. I've got ink all over my fingers, so you know what's going to happen, don't you? It means I'm going to get ink all over my tag. Oh, put it on the right way. And then a little bit of bluebell again. There's my little tag. So I'd find my little hole eyelet thing that matches, probably ink around the edges and pop a bit of a, um, oh, what do we call it? Baker's twine through it. And uh, then we've got a little tiny tag. Pretty, isn't it? Really pretty. And I've got another one that I have finished, which is similar but different. which is in pinks. So ever so slightly different. Um, I've gotten over a bit more with the stencil um, in pink. They're really cool, aren't they? Yeah. I really like little tags. It's only a dinky little tag. It doesn't need to be massive, does it? You don't need to do that. Right, so that's that. We'll do one more and then I must rush off to, rush off to the post office. And we'll play with that um, fairy gramophone, which I think is going to sell out quite quickly myself. Pull this out. Right, 
and deal with that in a minute. Okay, so fairy gramophone. Dirty fingers, dirty fingers. Right, so this is just a piece of the um, Petal Shimmer card again um, that I've trimmed down. And we're going to do a bit of masking. Sometimes I do this and I make a right mess of it and then I have to turn it over and start all over again. But such is life. So I haven't used the pa piano, there's so many I haven't used. because there, uh, There's 26 new stamps. And there are uh, four new stencils, so there's, the, you know, there's quite a bit. So let's see. Now, what you need to remember is you've got, if you don't want to use the gramophone part, um, that you need to, this is a bit dirty, um, that you need to make sure that you leave that bit off of your page, or, or you can trim it down, obviously, but just remember you've got the gramophone and, and the handle if you only want to use the actual trumpet part itself. So let's go for popping that one there. This again is one of those, um, because we're using masks, it is one of those quite um, mindful um, projects because it takes a while. I need my pokey tool. Where is a pokey tool when you want one? There's one. Few more magnets because I like magnets. Get it out of the way. Right. Okay, let's go for a brown. We go for acorn, which is a lovely brown. Let me stamp that off of the page. Beautiful, absolutely, it's just lovely, isn't it? There's no words really, no words. So now we'll put one um, at the top. So we do, we're gonna do down here in a corridor and, and down there probably, I think. So obviously we've got ink on our gramophone. So we're gonna pop my acetate down, pick it up and then we can use the acetate to figure out where we want the one in this corner as well. So let's have let's have it going like that, I think. Pick it up, take the acetate off. It's not the most exciting thing to watch, I know, but um, sometimes I think you don't... <sighs> magnets! Um, sometimes I think you need to see how to mask. Um, I do sometimes um, and it's not it's not an easy thing to do on the TV because it takes too long um, and they I think you know they, they lose interest in watching you doing it and they want to give numbers and figures and things um, so it's quite a good thing to be able to show on a live or a video there's that one okay so now we, 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 we've got to be careful because we, we, we've got quite wet ink and we want to make sure that we don't actually um, transfer the ink to the bottom of the, the underside of the mask. So it's a good idea just to give it a blast. And the, pa the, the paper or card paper, because it is, um, I think it's 216 DSM. I'll just remind myself of what it is. Yeah, 216, 216 GSM. So it's a really good, it's a cardstock basically. Um, so it will take it. But it's not coated per se because it can take uh, the inks. Uh, but it is smoother and it's less, it's not absorbent like your watercolour card. So um, now we're going to um, mask off this one here. Pop it 
various different masks here. It does take wet mediums really easily. I haven't used texture paste on here, but I know that Bonnie has. Um, so I've cut my um, masks just ever so slightly smaller than my actual gramophone itself so that um, we do get an overlap of that solid line but we don't get an overlap of the um, of the actual detail sorry brain is not working today I'm so sorry I don't know what possessed me to agree to more shows tomorrow <laughs> I think I'd be all right I'll be okay it's fine you know what do I do with my acetate that I've just taken off there there's that one, there's that one. Oh, for heaven's sake, Julie, just grab another piece. It must be here somewhere. This has got water on it. Because of Nathan. Right. Okay, another piece of acetate. Because I don't know where the other one's gone. And now, again, you need to be a bit careful of your... Um, I've got that little sticky bit there of that and I'm going to go up like so I want to go like that so that that's okay. right okay I'm talking to myself I'll sort it out in a sec so what we'll do is we do that grab that ink up it'll all become clear in a second Bear with, as Leonie would say. Grab a little bit of, hopefully these aren't too wet from when, honestly, the water went absolutely everywhere. I oh, don't want it on there. Plonker, I want it on there. And then we'll stamp that. Hopefully. Yep. Okay. So get rid of that. So now when we peel this away, we've got, see that they're, they're overlapping like that. But if you want to build it up even more, we want to put that back. That's wet though, isn't it? Hang on a sec. Let's do this side. I do know what I'm doing, honestly. It's just my brain's not working very well. <laughs> let's put this one on here. And let's build this one over here. So let's have one coming out like that. I'll do the same, similar sort of thing with this one. So we've got that. You can always cut it down a little bit more. If you do find that you make a bit of a mess, you can always cut it down on the edge, you know, around the edges. I'm just masking off the areas that I definitely don't want to stamp. Did I mask that off? I didn't. Plonker. <laughs> that will be difficult for me to live with, I'm telling you. <laughs> why didn't I mask it off? Because I'm a plonker, that's why. Too late now, Julia. Let's see if we can mend it, though. I always, this is what I always do. It drives me nuts. Let's put this one on here. And get this one, that'll probably be a bit wet. So what I've got a gap there anyway. Let's see if we can fill this in. Of course you could stamp it separately because you've got two sheets of the paper. You can stamp it separately and then just um, pop it over the top. 
cut one out, pop it over the top. This is how not to do things. Do you know, I do this so often. I don't know why I put myself in the position of making a mistake like that. That's tight. See, if it, see what it looks like. See if I can live with it. I can't have gin, Jennifer. I can't drink. Can't have alcohol. That's the problem. Can't have alcohol. And the one coming in at the back there. I don't know whether I like that. Get off magnets. We can definitely mask that one off. I'll just do one more and then we'll, we'll do the middle bit. Because otherwise you'll leave the wind will see. Where are you going? Where are you? That's that one. This one's going on here somehow. Now we're going to bring another one in over here. How many magnets are sticking together here? Three. That's going to be tough, isn't it? Not tough enough for me. Right, here we go. One more. And then we'll bring in some other bits and pieces. So we can bring in this one. That's going to go over there, so that'd be all right. Like that, I think. Alright. So it's not too bad up there, but I can see it. I don't think anybody else will be able to see it, but I can see it. <laughs> so so now we've got our gramophones and I would colour these in as well. Um and I'd be, I, I'd use either my watercolour blending pens, but then I've I've been using my um Faber Castell polychromos as well um, I'm really just learning how to use them so perhaps not made a brilliant effort with them but um, um, it, it's a start so let's add to this so which way up we're we going to have it I would probably add a, a few more actually but you know like I say you'll lose the will to live otherwise won't you so let's bring in the hummingbirds wherever I put them. So we could bring in the hummingbirds. You could bring in the dandelions. Um, not dandelions. Oh, dragonflies. What's wrong with me? I don't normally stamp over like this, but I'm going to give it a go as if they're feeding. And let's see how they'll look. So let's just do the two bigger ones. We're right on this. Let's 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 use the corner of the stamping platform and my magnets. Ninety-seven million of them. And I think we'll bring them in as as we've got brown on the. Um, on the actual uh, gramophone flowers. Let's actually use our black because then it will be darker than the brown. 
and because I want my um, hummingbirds to be darker. What have I hit? Hit, hit a button. Mocktail. I like mocktails. We had a delicious, we had um, a, a mojito mocktail last Sunday when we had our Sunday lunch out. Very nice. I have got quite a sweet tooth, so anything sweet like that I absolutely love. Let's release that, see how we go. Ooh, that works nicely, doesn't it? I am going to go just a little bit darker so that we don't see that brown so much underneath there. So we're just going to go once more. Do be careful that you don't smudge your um, images when you're uh, stamping on this paper or on any paper actually because the Versafine clear stays wet quite a long time absolutely stunning and that paper's gorgeous isn't it really beautiful so this is from the petal shimmer again I've only used petal shimmer today my favorite is the bumble twinkle though I really like the bumble twinkle I like saying bumble twinkle little things <laughs> okay so there's my hummingbirds we'll bring in um let's see let's see if we can get a sentiment in here let's see if it'll fit can we get the bu on here yeah we can get the bu in here like that and then we'll bring in some ballerinas in a moment I think as well I don't think that's going to fit and we'll do that in black as well I'm not sure if I'll get to colour all these in tonight um, I might do in the morning though but I will put the video on uh, YouTube this evening. Hope that's straight. It's a lovely sentiment, isn't it? Live in the moment, love with passion, dance wildly, laugh out loud, sing to the world, enjoy every second, dream big, be you. Really love that. So let's find our little ballerinas. You see, if we hadn't used the hummingbirds, um, our peony would have sat nicely on top of there as well. Um, there's just so uh, there's just so much scope for mixing and matching these. You know, you could even bring in your dancing bunnies as well because I like to use them on absolutely everything. Because why not? And a misty she'd work in here as well. Um, I'm, we're going to leave that white space. We're not going to worry about that too much. We're going to bring in some of our little... Um, in fact, we can bring in um, one of our little fairies just on the top of the sentiment up there as well. Not sure how many more we're going to fit in really they are fairies and um, so they can be hovering so we could perhaps bring one just bring in one up there let's just stick with three they've got wings so they don't have to be standing on things and we'll bring those in with black as well the mess I'm making. It's a good job these stamps are deeply etched and they are photopolymer, they're not acrylic. They're very, very good stamps. Lovely quality. That's that. I'll sort those out in a little while. So let's just bring in our black card so you can see how it would look once it's matted and layered. 
And like I say, I would add some colour to the um, see the sunshine. I would add some colour to the uh, what they're called, fairy gramophones. I would add colour to that. I'm a little bit annoyed about that, but we won't talk about that. <laughs> so um, I think we're done. So we've we've had our. What did we start with? We started with a car, didn't we? We started with our little A6 card here with the dirty fingerprints on, um, with uh, our fairy here, uh, Mirabelle, I believe. And then we did the um, the dancing bunnies. Oh, we got the stencil on there as well, the fairy buds. Then we got stancy, uh, dancing bunnies and the little, little ballerinas and the, the, um, the strings here. Uh, and the uh, fairy rainfall stencil. Then we've got our tag with Misty and the fairy note. And then finally, we've got uh, this one here with the uh, hummingbirds and the fairy gramophone. So um, I hope you've enjoyed that. And um, hope it's only really a dip into the potential of what you can do with this brand new collection from Fairy Hugs. It is an amazing new collection. It's on Create and Craft tomorrow at five and eight. And all of the products that I've shown you, the 26 stamps and the um, four stencils are live on the Fairy Hugs website now, fairyhugs.com, or you can buy them from me at, from midnight tomorrow night, midnight Sunday night uh, at juliawattscrafts.co.uk. Um, uh, enjoy the rest of your weekend and I will hopefully see you on the telly box tomorrow starting at five. Thanks very much. Bye.